look at that. Here's a look at what's coming up in today's video. I show an absolutely incredible marine Jurassic crocodile skull. But first of all, we go on a fossil hunt where we crack open ammonites, find ammonites amongst the shale, as well as some multi-blocks. And we also get caught out in a storm. Not only that, we're also going to have a look in the water for some seals as well. I'll introduce the video now, and then we'll get on and start looking at the fossils. I'm out fossil hunting today in this pretty miserable weather. It's been raining almost constantly the entire time I've been fossil hunting. However, I have come across a pretty nice ammonite multi-block, so I'll show you that now. There's also quite a few seals down at the beach, so I'll show you a few of the seals as well. First things first, let's have a look at this multi-block. If you think the rain here looks quite bad, just wait until you see what it looks like when I'm heading back up off the beach. I get caught in some absolutely torrential rain. It's quite a few pieces of the multi-block. I've got three individual pieces here, and then I've got two pieces where they open up to reveal quite a few ammonites. There was quite a number of pieces from this multi-block which opened up. I'm taking a few of the best ones and I've left a few further up the beach for some other people to find if they come along. You can see here there's a few cross sections of ammonite, a few outer worlds exposed which could be prepared up. Again, similar story here. I'm not sure on the species names of all of these, very nice and the block is absolutely filled with ammonites there's lots of opportunities to prepare these here's a pretty nice piece really good quality ammonites look at that i'll show you a couple of the pieces that opened up in half now these are the two pieces that open up here's the first one Look at that. Isn't that incredible? It's covered in natural oils as well. Being a big partial ammonite on the back of that. So that's the first piece and the second piece is this one again look at that it's got plenty of ammonites on it look at all the rainbow effects on the oil This was the second multi-block which I was lucky enough to find. I actually found a pretty similar piece on a previous hunt in this area. Pretty awesome. Loads of calcified outer worlds as well. Look at that. The next thing we're going to do after we've had a little bit more of a look at this multi-block is look for some of the seals. It's quite a few hundred seals, literally, in this area. It's really nice to see them. There's a couple of different types of seals. I think there's the common seal and the grey seal. Really nice to see. For the next few minutes of footage from this video, unfortunately, whilst filming these shots of the sea, my camera got absolutely drenched, and the audio is a little bit, well, not the best, shall we say. However, it does get better for the rest of the video. It's only for a few minutes where it's a little bit distorted. At the end of the video, I've got the clip showing the marine crocodile skull. And I filmed that on the way home. Can you spot the seal? I think actually there's three seals in this shot. Keep bobbing their heads up and down. 
can see a couple out in the distance. One's over there, another one there. And there was one a little bit closer up, but it seems to have dipped its head back down now. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's loads. Look at that. Might be wanting to come further up the beach, so I'll walk away in a second. That was a nice look at that Ammonite multi-block. I think when I take it home and show Shay and my parents, I think they'll be very pleased with this. I've also come across a small pyritic Harposerus Ammonite, which someone else has tried to split. It's sort of been revealed, but not too good. So we'll give it another split and see if we can reveal the rest of it. Then afterwards, we'll have a look amongst the pebbles just near me. I've already spotted a big Ammonite, so I'll see if you can spot it as well. This is the ammonite, which I think someone else must have tried to split. You can see outer world is revealed and a little bit of the centre. Quite a lot of it's broken through though. I think there's a decent chance if I split this through, it might break off and be pretty nice on the other side. Alright, I can see a crack has already started to form all the way down here. Let's gently reveal a bit more of it if we can. It should just remove itself from the rock. Okay. I don't think it's gone all the way. I think it might have just removed half of it. Let's have a look. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. How golden is that? That's ridiculous. Wow. That's honestly so impressive. The Ammonite's very badly preserved anyway. It's not it was never complete. It had been crushed. And the center of the ammonite has turned on itself and actually is preserved perpendicular to the rest of the plane of the ammonite so that's pretty weird there we have it it was this side only now we've got both of these yeah that's pretty cool i think actually for this i mean it is really nice i think it's probably the best thing to do so leave it here for someone else to find. If there's family nearby, I might go see if they might like it. Right, let's have a look for some ammonites. Now, as I sort of hinted earlier, there is a big ammonite amongst these pebbles. And it is a pretty big size. I'm going to slowly walk across to see if you can spot where it is. Okay, there's a fossil in shot now. Can you see this one? It's not the big one though. Yeah, there's a little ammonite imprint down there. Let's keep looking for the big one. OK, 
like a it's in the shot now I think I've probably made this a bit too easy let's keep looking for the big one Okay, some of you might have seen it already. Can you spot where it is? Okay, you can see the edge of a big ammonite over there. massive compared to that imprint. Now, I'm not sure what species this is. And it's also hard to tell if it's completely preserved or not. I'm not entirely sure what to do with this one. Maybe I'll send a photo to Shay, see if he wants me to bring it back home. If not, I'll leave it on a rock with these other fossils for someone else to find. Oh, we found quite a lot today. Well, we've had a pretty good look for some fossils today. Of course, I wasn't out as long as I wanted to be, and that was due to the weather. Quite often when it's pretty stormy like this, the rain can make lots of bits of shale fall from the cliffs. So it becomes a lot more dangerous to walk even near the cliffs with quite a lot of rock regularly coming down. Although we didn't have a very long look, I did find quite a few nice fossils, so it was definitely worth coming out. I'm going to head back home now, and on my way home, I will show you the fossil that I mentioned earlier in the video. So there's still a lot to look forward to yet. I'll head back home now and let's have a look at it. As you can see, actually, there's quite a lot of shale that's come down, probably because of all of this rain. Quite a sizeable fall. Might look small on the video. That's probably because the cliffs are all really, really high. But it's actually a pretty, pretty big fall, that. Lots and lots of small pieces of shale. Well, obviously, in this case, it has been some really, really big lumps that have come down as well. It's almost time to see the Jurassic marine crocodile skull. I know a lot of people have been really looking forward to seeing this after I showed a little preview of it in a recent video. For anyone that was also interested, the golden fossil that we cracked open just a few minutes ago, there was a lovely little family nearby and I gave it to them and they were really appreciative of it, really liked it. I think they travelled from quite a way to come here and mainly came to see the seals really. I think it added to their day receiving that lovely fossil as well. Just about to head back up the beach and as you will see, the rain becomes absolutely torrential. I wish I'd filmed it a bit longer because it looked really cool, but I really needed to just get up and get out of this. I was only in a t-shirt. On my way to filming the crocodile skull, my car ended up getting surrounded by sheep. They were really cool to see. However, you'll soon see that it's very dangerous when the sheep are on the road. You could quite easily drive into them. You've always got to watch out on blind bends because you never know if there could be one, two or even a whole flock of sheep just around the corner.
Coming up next, we're going to be having a look at the fossilised crocodile skull, which I mentioned at the start of the video. First up, I've got a few clips of the sunset, which I filmed prior to filming the fossilised crocodile skull. We'll have a quick look at this and then get on to having a look at the skull. Here we are at the end of the video and as promised right at the beginning I've got that incredible fossilized crocodile skull to show you. This crocodile skull is around 180 million years old from the Jurassic period so a lot older than many of the dinosaurs. This is one of the first crocodile skulls we found, not the very first, I showed that in a previous video though, but this is one that we initially found and had no idea whatsoever that it was actually a fossilized skull. We thought it was just a few squashed, poorly preserved ichthyosaur bones, when it turned out to be a partial crocodile skull. That was just surreal. Initially when we found it, we started to prepare it very slowly and delicately, and we started to realize quite early on that what we were preparing was the eye sockets of the crocodile. We then revealed quite a lot of the jaw and to our disbelief it kept on getting better and better because the jaw actually had some teeth still in place. Crocodile skulls, well fossilised crocodile skulls, are rare enough as they are but to have the eyes and the jaws and teeth within the jaw is just incredible, a really really special find. Quite often, as with many fossils, when they're found, they're found in a few pieces and usually it's just the back of the skull that's found so the piece with the eyes and the very back of the skull. The actual jaw associated with the skull is very uncommon to find so it's a rare find overall but to have the jaw actually still attached to the skull and not broken off is really unusual. Quite often when we found them in the past we found bits of jaws that have been predated so they've physically been bitten off from the crocodile before it was fossilized. It's a really cool find, really rare, and I think we should now have a look at it. I think I've spoken about it enough. So here is the skull. Now it's turned upside down at the moment. Just You can just see the limestone at the back of the skull at the moment. However, turning it over, you can see almost exactly what it is straight away. Even without me saying it's a crocodile skull, you could probably already tell that that's what it was. So the skull has the majority of both eyes preserved. You can see it's got a little bit of one of the outer eye sockets worn away. Well, that's fine. And it's got the very, very back of the skull, the bassy occipital, where the very first cervical vertebra would attach. That's still in place. I'll show you the crocodile skull close up as well in just a moment. And then down the side here, we've got lots of teeth still intact. And they're still very sharp as well. Looking at it this way, you can also see a lot more teeth. So I'd actually forgotten, but it, there's teeth down both sides of the jaw. I thought they were just down one side, but it's a nice surprise to remind myself that there's teeth down both sides of it. Now the very end of the jaws have unfortunately been eroded away, as well as the side of the skull, but the majority of it is preserved. And of course it would have had a lower jaw as well, but that's also not here. That must have disappeared prior to fossilization. Let's have a closer look at the skull now.
Here we're looking down the jaws. Got the eye sockets. This is where the muscles would have attached, as far as I'm aware. And this is the basi occipital. Now looking down it, you can see here those incredible teeth. These were possible to be prepared using quite a lot of acid preparation. I always think this skull's got quite a lot of character to it. Right there, lots more teeth down the other side too. These teeth in particular are really sharp. there we have it an absolutely superb fossil incredibly unique we've been lucky enough to find a few other bits and pieces of crocodile skulls over the years when they're prepared i'll be sure to show them in the meantime i hope you've enjoyed seeing this one thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video if you have any video requests of videos i've not made yet and that you would like me to make please just let me know in the comments and I'll hopefully get round to making them. See you in the next one. Just to round off the video, I've got a selection of photos of the crocodile skull. Sometimes it's not easy to see all of the details on video, so I took some photographs of some of the key features. Very nice indeed. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Certainly a pretty unique one with the Jurassic skull, as well as those Ammonite multi-blocks. If you'd like to support the page and support our channel, and in particular my brother Shea, who does this full time, we offer plenty of Ammonites, both ones to crack open yourself at home and fully prepared specimens. So if you'd like something like that, it's very enjoyable to crack them open. Please contact my brother, his details are coming on screen now. Thanks again for watching and we will see you in the next one. That's awesome.